hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, in this video we are going to do primary checkpoint uh, april 2018 paper 2 so there are previous two parts of this video uh, of this paper in the first video there was some question and the second uh, we covered question from 9 i think 10 to 20 and this video we are going to do remaining questions so before i start i i would like you guys to request to subscribe to my channel please please support for that and share it with your friends and let me know if you need any particular paper i will try to do as soon as possible so let's get started number 21 here are six shapes you can see the shapes here um, we have different shapes here. Uh, write the letter of the shape in the correct pla uh, place on the Carol diagram. One has been done for you. We have this Carol diagram here. A is written here. You see, we have polygon, not a polygon. Has right angle, does not have right angle. So now, first of all, because it's related to polygon, so you need to know what is a polygon. So what is a polygon? A polygon is a shape. Uh, so it is... A 2D shape, two dimensional shape with the straight lines, with the straight lines and angles and angles, and it should be closed and it must be closed. It must be a closed shape, right? So what do you mean by closed shape like let's say we have this uh, 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 I can give you example of a, a rectangle like this so this is a rectangle you know four sides but we have another shape so this is a polygon this is a polygon we may have another shape with the four sides like this also have four sides but it is not closed it's all open so this is not polygon right so now we be using this property we are going to do this for one by one so a a has right angles and polygon it so it's here so now the second one b mm, for the b so it does not have right angle not right angle so it will go here but it is a polygon so that means b will come here right then we are done with b c c has one right angle you can see there is a right angle here but it is a curve it's not a straight line okay so that means it's not a polygon not polygon here but it has right angle so it will go in this box now d uh, there is no right angle as you can see no right angle not right angle is here does not have right angle but it's a polygon because it's a straight line and closed so d will come here right so now e it's a curved shape no right angle so not a polygon not angle so e will go here lastly f you see we have this right angle here and it's closed right so it's a polygon so f will go here it's a polygon and it has right angle right so see you can go slowly slowly by the concept then you can find their correct place right uh, number 22 a single ticket for a journey costs 1.25 dollars uh, 25 single tickets can be bought in a book for dollar 27 lily makes 25 journeys how much does lily save by using a book of tickets if he takes the book it's cheaper i guess let's see now uh, this one if she buys the like this ticket uh for one twenty dollar one twenty five one ticket cost one twenty five and she needs how many she needs twenty five so let's multiply this one point two five i'm sorry one point two five times twenty five so thirty one point two five right so this is thirty one point two five if she buy a uh, she's buying tickets uh, like one by one but for that she buys 25 a book for that that is 27 so for a book she has to pay this is single ticket okay and this is the book uh, so it's 25 so what is the difference so let's see so just multiple uh, sorry 
uh, subtract how much does she save so how much she saves saving is 31.25 minus 27 31.25 minus 27 it's 4.25 so she can save 4.25 dollars right so let's move to next one question number 23 here is a recipe for onion soup onion soup serves for four uh, we are given the ingredients for that okay 40 gram butter two large onion and this stock and flour whatever and then we have uh, four serving of six so uh, we have two like the ratio of four to six so this is given to us for four and this is six so if we take the ratio so the ratio is if you divide it by uh, four I mean yeah four divided by four on both sides one then this will become six over four so uh, let me do it this way and divide by four divide by four so this six divided by four six divided by four is 1.5 right so this is 1.5 so that means if we are taking one uh, ingredient for this so we have to take 1.5 of this so that means we can just multiply all these ingredients by 1.5 to get the serving for six people so first one is 40 40 times 1.5 40 times 1.5 40 times 1.5 so it is 60 so our answer will be 60 grams right then we have two large onions 2 times 1.5 now we have to take three onions right then 850 ml of stock 850 times 1.5 so it's mm, 1275 milliliter of stock and then three teaspoons of flour three times 1.5 three times 1.5 it's 4.5 right so this is 4.5 teaspoons of flour so you just need to find out uh, it's kind of a scale factor you need to find out the ratio uh, for that uh, required uh, ingredients then you just multiply all of them by 1.5 to get the ingredient of this for six servings right now number 24 a mango cost dollar 1.50 an apple cost 3 by 10 of the cost of mango what's the cost of two mangoes and five apples so one mango cost this two mangoes times two right then an apple cost 3 by 10 cost of mango uh, one mango 1.50 times two it's three right so this is cost of mango is a cost of two mangoes two mangoes cost dollar uh, three right three by ten uh, apple uh, cost of one apples three by cost three by ten of cost of mango cost of mango is uh, 1.5 sorry one mango one mango is this so three times three times 1.50 divided by 10 so this is 0 0.45 so this is 0 0.45 so this is cost of one apple right cost of one apple so we need five apples so five cost of five apples will be 1.45 times 5 uh, sorry 0 0.45 times so this is 2.25 right so this is 2.25 this is 3.00 so we need total cost so it will be 5.25 right so cost will be 5.25 okay so this is a bit tricky question but go slowly try to read the statement read it again and again if you don't understand find the keywords then you can find out the solution right Question number 25. Look at these signs. We have given these signs here. 
greater than uh, less than greater than and equal write one of the signs in each box to complete so you see this is 20 divided by 5 20 divided by 5 is 4 so this is a whole number this is a fraction so this is obviously it's greater so this one is greater right now this is uh, 1 over 0.3 so 1 divided by 3 1 divided by 3 it's 0 0.33 so this is 0 0.333 so, but this is 300 0, 0. so this is greater so this symbol will go this way you know this is alligator i think you remember so it will point towards its mouth is open towards the uh, bigger number right now number 24 here is a grid of numbers you can see the numbers here draw a path between <clears throat> we need to draw a path between two shaded numbers so one shaded number is here one is this one so this is a shaded number and this is shaded number i hope you can see that uh, <clears throat> passing only through only through prime numbers we have to pass through the prime numbers only so let's start from here if you move right we have 18 but this is not prime 18 is divided by 2 so we have to go this way right then we have uh, if we go this way 15 3 times 5 is 15 not prime number but then this 7 is a prime number right so then if you go down this is even number which is not prime so we will go this way 3 is a prime number then after that one one is not a prime because most of the student will make mistake here one is not prime because it has only one factor which is one but we need two so then 11 is a prime number then 12 is not prime right but two is prime go this way and then this way so this is the path to go to one from one shaded number to other one by uh, choosing only the prime numbers right now number 27 put the brackets into this calculation to make it correct so this we have to struggle a bit um, if we take these two and this two i mean if i put bracket here and here let's see what will happen so it is six point times 1.5 and then plus 4.9 times 28 point so this is wrong so if we try this calculation here uh, we have 55 so that one this bracket doesn't work so let's try this one if you put bracket here so that means it will be 6 times 1.5 6 times 1.5 I'm sorry 6 times 1.5 is 9 plus then 4.9 is 13.9 then we have times 4 times 4 so yeah 55.6 so yes we got it so that means our bracket will come here right number 28 uh, this is last question of this paper so i hope you are getting all the concepts and you understood everything let me know if there is anything in the comment section please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so that i can get support by you so let's start number 28 four children take part in a swimming relay race okay so we have four students names here time taken the table shows their time in the race work out the total time taken by team in minutes and seconds so total time so we have to add all of them so let's add them together so it's 92.4 plus 86.7 plus 85.1 plus 91.8 so this 356 356 but this is seconds right so we have 356 seconds we need to convert this into minutes so that means we are going to divide it by 60 so 356 divided by 60 
356 divided by 60. So you can see we have 5 hours, uh, 5 minutes, but seconds. You cannot get this by calculator. So it's easy if you divide it directly like this. 356 divided by 60. 6 times 5, 300. So remaining. So this is minute now. And these are the seconds, right? So we will have 5 minutes and 56 seconds. So that's it for this question and also for this paper. This was the last question. I hope you understood everything. Please press the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends. And also press the bell icon so that you can get notified when you get uh, their new videos uploaded. Thank you very much for your support. God bless you guys.